Yeah, oh, unless yeah. he was doing exactly what he was supposed to, which didn't look like it, they're going to see that on film, and they know you were the guy calling all of us out. All right, so, and you're the guy that's about to get, we think, $35 million a year. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, Nick's right about the friend. I didn't pick them to win the division. I feel good about Philly doing that. But I did pick them to make the playoffs. I'm not going to jump off of that just yet. I want to see this Giants game. Now, I know the Giants, I'm not saying they're very good. Daniel Jones has obviously played better. He's got a weapon now as far as a receiver. And they Neighbors just won. And if they had been smart enough to have a healthy kicker, and they probably would have won week two. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, so like could the, be two yeah. and one. And they ran the ball well yep. yesterday. Mm -hmm. All right. So they, if they're smart, they're going to try to run the ball down Dallas's throat. And, Nick, to your point, like, how fixable is the defense? Now, obviously, Micah can play better. We think he will. But that's, they're small and fast. But that's kind of built. Now the teams are running that football down their throat. Well, and with the whole league almost yeah, running more. being teams more are physical running. and those things. It, the, it, go ahead, Wilds. Well, then I, the, last, when we were previewing this game, we kicked around the idea that the Ravens might have a a season from heck. Yeah. Like, oh, this could go I think really I said south. Season from hell, but yeah. How dare you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but then you kind of laid out a few reasons. I was like, ah, that makes a lot of sense. But then when this, when it flipped early on, I was like, hold on, are is we it sure Dallas this that is not Dallas? Be? So this yeah. is the things that you kind of. I did my own version of what you did last week. Sure. Disappointing end of the season. Check. Lackluster off season. Check. New defensive coordinator. Check. Dallas has this one on their own. Teams straight up questioning the effort of their teammates. Yep. That's, yeah. that's not in Baltimore. Win. That's there. And then you go through the win. Their last good win was when? They lost to the Ravens and the Saints. Beating the Browns Detroit might actually be terrible. Detroit, which Packers was Detroit. terrible. Commanders were tanking. The Lions, I don't really count We that, felt like they got outplayed, play, but they did. In the win. Lions, they won that one. Yeah. They lost to the Dolphins and the Bills yeah, before beating that. Beating the Eagles before that. And the Eagles. So it's yeah. the Eagles or that and Lions win that was yeah, kind of funky. I mean, I know you can do that with a lot of teams and turn yeah. W's into yeah. L's. But it's starting to stack up, and all of a sudden, if you're not willing to just give the Dallas Mike McCarthy but, stamp of approval like you and proved the in the regular is a lame season. Duck. The coach is a lame duck. They are, they, he is historically Where with this still? team really good in the regular season typically, and I think the, you know, I don't think the NFC East is a strong division, which is one of the reasons that I'm not panicking. But what I will say is this. The best teams in the league, I'll, I'll use my Chiefs as an example. Oh, sorry. Thanks. The Chiefs can have their best players play poorly and still win sometimes. Yeah. You know what I mean? I would argue that's what happened. It's happened the last two weeks. Right. I, the, and we'll talk more of the Chiefs later, but where it's like, oh, our best guys didn't show up. We still won. That's right. The, the worst teams in the league don't have best players. They're just like, or their right. best players are just guys. Everybody else lives or dies based on how their highest paid best guys do. And oddly, up to this point in the year, I feel like Dak's the only one who's kind of played to his regular standard. See, Dak's been, okay, maybe just I don't slightly even think below. CD yeah. has had some splash plays. He was terrible yesterday. But CD Lamb has 13 catches this year. He, he has dropped two passes. He, and, and, it's, and now he has and these long, big bad. catches, big plays. But they were talking before the year about targeting him 12 to 15 times, 12, 15 touches a game. Yep. So, CD has 13 catches on 24 targets for the season. Micah has one sack and one TFL. Demarcus Lawrence has not done much as of yet. Trayvon Diggs has not done, you know, so we are, we, when you look at salary cap and stuff, yep. the Cowboys need their stars to play like stars. To your point, though, Nick, Dak, as good yep. as he is, Cannot carry a team on his back Agreed. without a run game. And they got one of the worst run games in the league right now. So, with CD, they know they're throwing. And teams are able yeah. to, you know, go after him because they know the run. They have no fear of the run. Nobody's CD's the only person on the Cowboys with a run longer than 10 yards. Not a pass. They not don't a have player. a running back average in yeah. four yards well, a carry. I'll tell you what. This A block so far. Boy, they could use Tony Pollard. Let's see. Here we go. He had 14 yards say yesterday, <laughs> bro. Okay, see. Brew, he had 14 yards. <laughs> oh, Today's not the day he's he, he, Give Pollard. him a quarterback go and some ahead. receivers, ahead. and he'd he be doing I some I thought damage. it was going nicely. <laughs> <laughs> Reigning MVP now 21-1 and one against the NFC. That's pretty good. 12 for 15 through the air while running for 87, including a keeper to seal the game. Here's Lamar on Marlon Humphrey's Instagram Live. You know, the flock, they got to hear from you. You know what I mean? They got to hear from you. 
about to go. Got duck. Keep stacking. Keep stacking. We shouldn't even go live right now. Like, we need to be getting right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I like that. I do too. Uh, here's the problem with the Ravens. There's plenty of positives, but here's the one issue. Uh, they were pretty bad in the fourth quarter. So, more or less confident in Baltimore after they almost lost this game, bro. I, can, I, can I say something? A little peek behind the curtain, if you will? Go ahead. I don't want to spoil it for you if you're tuning in. Maybe you'll make yourself a sandwich. There's no sandwich coming. There's no purple Jordans. <laughs> he was wearing his regular hard-soled shoes yes. here because hard you start show, not to believe shoes. in the Ravens. No, no, no it's not it wasn't about he, the belief. He, he well, if you're not bringing a sandwich No, here. he was disappointed. Well, where's go, the let him go. For, yeah. Yeah. Since you want to take people behind the curtain, let me really take okay, them behind the curtain. Because you, just, you know a little bit here and a little bit there, and you don't know this, <laughs> you don't know that. Yeah, the Jordans were coming. The robe, the sunglasses, the sandwich, and, of course, the, the soda, soda pop. pop. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Up through early in the fourth quarter, Hubs and I are text. Yeah, he's gonna do this, but he's got some new Jordans for me. I haven't even seen. All right, yeah. and I, as this game got closer and closer, I said, you know what? I can't celebrate this mess. Wow. I will not go out there. I look idiotic throwing my feet up on yeah. the desk after that fourth. People quarter are making a sandwich. Like, well, hello. Yeah, 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 yeah I, I can't yeah. do it. So. I, look, I'm obviously sticking with my pick of them winning the yeah. Super Bowl and all that. But I, I'm going to be – and the win was good. But I'm a little less confident than I was going into it. And I said if they went to 0-3, I would still be with them. Yeah. And, and I meant that. If they had lost like a close game, right, and, and played the whole game was close, I would have – I might have felt better. 0-3 would have been tough. I can't say I feel better because that's so but hard to overcome. this was almost a full-blown collapse. Yes, and this, the thing is this is what they do. Yeah. Harbaugh has more double-digit leads blown in the fourth quarter than any coach since at least 1991. Can I, can I say something that's about nine. that? That's nine. It's you you those, don't think that's anything? No, I think, I think it is something on both sides. It's a terrible stat. It means stat. they have a lot of big leads. That is true. But yeah, also but you, some you It's like I've never, lost most handsome no, man and people's no. second place in <laughs> handsome man. No, award. but they but – they, no. but Wilds, they, they're, there are two teams in the league. I'll, you know what? I'll say there's one team in the AFC that it feels to me that's supposed to be a really good team. That being up 10, it doesn't feel like game over. And no, it's Baltimore. That's That's, true. that's, that's the true. thing. Like – if that game yesterday wasn't over, when's it ever going to be it's over? You're 28-6 going into the fourth quarter. Yeah. And this is a week after you just blew a lead. That's right. You are absolutely desperate for That's a win. True. And you still did it. Yeah, it's good song. You're luckily you – so they got – look, and Nick, the, I, I've got some highlights. Obviously, the – Justin Tucker's a problem now. Well, yeah. All right. He missed the 46 yards. You, don't say. you the, blow the onside a, But that's a fluky thing. I mean. Uh, okay. With them, though, they seem to, and again, this is my team, but they seem to find ways to lose. Look, I mean, how do you blow that? That just goes through your ex. Then you see the first touchdown or in the fourth quarter for Dallas to uh, Tolbert right here. Just wide open. Just have, I, I jumped on Nick because they blew the. The yeah, coverage against you, the they Chiefs. They might be blowing How, coverages. Bro. Right. Like, maybe that's who that – like, that's yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. And then the last touchdown, Kevontae Turpin, we're about to see it here. Yeah. The defender just falls. Yeah. Look, I mean, just – just I don't know how close you can get on that. Probably but he just – Falls. Yeah, and so can not I, a great move. They, it's like they were finding ways to make this thing close, and so that concerns me a little bit. Okay. okay. All right. That's so, I I agree with almost all of that, and it's but with that say, and I you know Isaiah likely ever since he did all that chirping, three catches for thirty yards. Mark Andrews, uh, did he play yesterday? He did, but not oh. really. Oh, he's like Travis uh, Kelsey. Uh, and so the yeah yeah well, minus all the accolades, Super Bowls, turn. and Hall of Fame. Well, I totally agree. This year, this year, um, this year. That, well, in and the wins this year, I guess. But that's neither here nor there. Let me, just, wins, let me let me please, if I may, finish the Baltimore <laughs> Ravens point. We're going to do the Chiefs. I think in about five minutes. <laughs> um, I would like to give credit quickly to Lamar. Because not only was he, I thought, very good throughout, he, it was a really weird spot for him because they're kicking a field goal to go up 31-6. to six. But Justin Tucker, who yeah. can't kick long field goals he ever might, since. He might have ever, to, well, Listen, Kelsey tossed his helmet and broke him. We all know no, it. That's other possible. People might have, yeah. We've oh, seen it It's not it possible. Guys. It's probable. It happened. So, after that, Lamar, the Ravens had the ball for three plays before it was 28-25 because Dallas went touchdown, 
onside kick, touchdown, Ravens win three and out, touchdown. And then Lamar, the third and six pass, saved the game. They were going to lose that game. He gets that, and then he gets the first down where he tricks everyone, including the broadcast, which tricked me too, and goes